So you weren't kidding when you said we were going fishing, huh? That's what I said, darn it. But this is boring. Let's go swimming or something. It's cold. Besides, we passed a sewer outlet in the way here. Oh, please. They don't dump the sewers in this lake. They get the water from well, it. Well, hey! There's something slimy down there. I don't like it. Oh, you're trying to scare me. Hey! Oh. Wayne! Come on, Wayne. Cut it out. You see that, Casey? Did you see that? Them goddamn kids could have killed me, but they didn't. Ha <laughs> ha, I survived. Come on, we'll grab a couple of snorts. You cry on my shoulder and I'll cry on yours. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on in, come on in. Matter, you don't like my house? It ain't good enough for you, huh? Oh, shut up, you goddamn mongrel. Eviction notice. Last warning. You assholes.
yelling at me! No! Hey, don't spill it, buddy. <laughs> Just in time. Very sorry, ma'am. You're here, sir. Thank you. Come on, Maureen. Slow up a little, eh? Excuse me for trying to have a good time. You want to dance? What about you, Mike? Want a boogie? Oh, no thanks, Maureen. I'm not much of a dancer. That's for sure. Terrific. Another fun-filled night in Ashton. <laughs> the armpit of America and center of boredom for the entire planet Earth. Right, honey? I think we better go. You know, I think you're right. I've got to see Sheriff Reese first thing in the morning at Ron Bell's house. See y'all. Right. Bye. See you, Mike. Good night. Bye, kid. Bye -bye. Mike! Hey, Don, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? You Good. guys aren't leaving, are you? Yeah, I've got an early appointment first thing in the morning. Oh, uh, Don, this is my wife, Kim. Kim, Don. Hi. How do you do, Kim? Nice to meet and you. And this is my wife, Maria. Hello. Hello. Hi, Maria. Nice Hello. to see you. Uh, Don's our county sanitation supervisor. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is just a college-educated way of saying that I crawl around in sewers and that I get paid about a quarter of what I made as a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good to meet you. Uh, funny, but you don't look anything like a wicked beach of the north to me. What? I'm Rick and Danny's mother. Oh, oh, oh. They're in my junior and senior classes. They oh. don't like my homework. You sure I can't buy you a drink? I'm sure I owe you one by now. Oh, no, no thanks. We'll see you all later. <laughs> Good night. Nice to see you. Nice Bye. to meet Bye. you. Bye-bye. Michael? Yeah? Do you think Maureen's attractive? She drinks too much. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Do you like? Yeah, very much. Hmm. Also, don't forget I'm known as the wicked bitch of the north. <laughs> I won't forget. So, teacher, mm -hmm. what do you say we start our homework? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, Mary, and I can't just drop everything here and come running home to kill a few snails. Snails, slugs, what the hell's the difference? Look, baby, I'll see you tonight. Morning, Mr. Brady. Good morning, Dobbs. You're late, Brady. Uh, go right in. Give me a break, Sheriff. It's two minutes after eight. That's right, son, after eight. Our appointment was for eight o'clock. I got a lot more important things to do and spend my time evicting drunks. Great, I get your point. Let's take my car. Sheriff, you don't mind if I smoke, do you? I sure as hell do, Brady. You can muck up your own lungs if you want, but don't mess with mine, goddammit. Today's your lucky day, Brady. Oh, really? Why is that? Littering's a $500 fine in this state. Don't let me catch you doing it again. <laughs> Sheriff, you know what they found in those candies you're reading? Rat shit. Maggots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Sheriff. Littering. It's a $500 fine. Son of a bitch. <laughs>
Doesn't even look like anyone lives here. We'll see about that. Look, there's an open window here. Not even in now. And something ate the sucker's eyes right out. Not only that, the coroner said his liver, kidneys, and heart are all gone, too. Dobbs, get out of my sight. Huh? I said get lost. Damn it. Sarah, I'm going to go back in there. OK, but don't touch anything. Sheriff, what do you think? I don't know. Wild dogs, maybe? Raccoons driven out of the hills by the cold? I don't buy that. Something that big would have done a lot more damage to the inside of the house. What's your bright idea, Mr. Health Inspector? <laughs> oh, rats, maybe? Rats? You willing to go on record with that? Well, how can I do that? I'm not sure that it's rats. Well, there's finally something you're not sure of. Fancy that. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Brady. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's that woman on the phone again for you. What woman? Florence Fortune. She's called four times. Well, what does she want? Something about the sewers being backed up. Oh, Jesus. Now, since one of the goddamn sewers my business, tell her to, to call the sanitation department. Those guys get paid just like we do. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Brady. I've already told her that, but she won't listen. All right, I'm sorry. Put her on the phone. Yeah, yes, it's Mike Brady. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, why don't you just give me your address then, okay? Don't tell me she called the health department, too. You got it. Well, come on, I'll show you how to do this. Great. Give me a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. Hi, ma'am. You two took your sweet time getting here. Hi, I'm Mike Brady. I'd I like... don't care who you are. I want something done about that smell. I'm not on welfare. I pay my taxes. Whoa, do you suppose maybe we could start at the beginning? We can start anywhere you want, young man, as long as we end up getting results. Didn't you hear about it? It was awful. Whatever got him ate his eyes right out of his head. Or what used to be his head. His face was all bloody and... Oh, for God's sakes, Madge, that's enough. I don't want to hear anymore. So, uh, Don, you going off to the moon or you going down in the sewer? You'd be, su <clears throat> You'd be surprised at the similarities. You know, there's more methane down there than there is on some of the planets. Mm. That's why you got on a cute mask, huh? That's one of the reasons. You know, Mike, I got another suit back in the truck if you want to come down with me. 
Oh, no thanks. I'm not big on the tight spaces. Ah, well, I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. Yes, so. And what exactly do you do, on how Romeo and Juliet might have solved their problems? Pam. Well, I think they should have talked to their parents about it. You know? Well, like, if they would have been honest with their feelings, well, maybe their parents would have understood. Fuck chance. You have something to add, Donna? Oh, no, Mrs. Brady. Are you sure? Well, parents never seem to listen to their kids. Unless it's when we're agreeing with something they've just said. Hold on, hold on, everyone. Not so fast. I want Act 3 read by tomorrow and be prepared for a 10-minute quiz. The wicked bitch strikes again. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Hi, honey. All right. Where do you want to go for lunch? Well, actually, I've had one hell of a morning, and I'm not too hungry. Besides, i got to check out these new houses after we eat. Oh, I heard about Ron Bell. Do you want to talk about it? Not if you want to enjoy your lunch, I don't. the goat killer shit again. It's not shit. He really exists. Who exists? The goat killer. He comes down from the hills at night and kills people, and then he eats them. Oh, well, that's gross. You're on drugs, girl, I swear. Either that or you need professional help. They have a few on him, but he's real, and he got Ron Bell last night. <laughs> we got Ron babe. Bell last night. I'm hungry, babe. Give me a burger. Give me a burger, too. You want a goat burger, babe? So what's on for tomorrow night? Right, some of the kids are going to a Halloween party at 8. A Halloween party? I'm not going. I don't like those wild parties. Well, count me in. You want to go? Sure, why not? 
Well, what about the midterm on Monday? Mrs. Brady's. <laughs> Did you forget? So? You don't let that wicked bitch spoil all your fun. Come on. Well, we'll see. Oh, I love the way you commit yourself to things, Pam. <laughs> Harold? What? I would just like to know, what are these? Slugs eggs. What? Slugs. I don't care what they are. Just get rid of them. And all the plants on the porch are the same. Please take care of them. Get off my back. I can't stand to look at them another second. Come on, Harold.
Did you hear about Harold and Jean Morris? Nope. Why? They're dead. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I heard it on the news. There was some kind of an explosion in their greenhouse. They were both inside. Wait a second. You're kidding me. How'd this happen? Nobody knows. Oh, Jesus. They were nice people. I mean, I liked them a lot. I know. I did, too. So what are you doing out here, anyway? I was working in the garden. Oh, I see. Now you call this a garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, you see these slime trails everywhere? Those new houses I was checking out this afternoon were just full of them. Slime trails? Oh, I saw the biggest slug in the world right before you got home. Jesus Christ, those things are big. I told you they were big. Big? They're gigantic. Damn, thing bit me. Oh, the slug bites someone. I don't know, but he's living in your garden. Quick, go get a jar or something with a lid on it. Hurry up, quick. You think your English friend is still in his lab? Yeah, he's supposed to be. All right, I'm going. No, wait. Hey. Hey, yourself. What's for dinner? I thought we'd eat light tonight. Just a big, healthy salad. I was kind of looking forward to a steak. We've been eating too much red meat lately. I've got to keep up my strength. Before you go any further, you better decide if you want your dessert before or after the main course. I was kind of hoping for some wild hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> doing here? Eh? I'm sorry to bother you, John, but, um... John, I want to ask you some questions about these. What's this? What is that stuff, anyway? It's like mucus, you see. Only the slugs use it as an irritant for its natural predators. It is also the way the buggers get around. They travel on it. It's like a, like a slimy carpet. I read somewhere that you can actually put a snail or slug on the edge of a razor blade and it can crawl right across it without ever touching the metal. Fascinating, isn't it? Yeah, that's terrific. How does it eat? It has three or four rows of teeth that it uses to grind up its food. Which is? Greens, mainly. Lettuce, cabbage, things like that. Anything that grows in the garden is a feast for them. That's why gardeners hate them so much. John, these things ever eat meat? I beg your pardon? Well, you know, like, uh, meat, animals. But, but they're usually only as, as big as your thumb, Mike. <laughs> However, there are some species which do eat tiny worms and insects. Well, why do you ask? John, let's, uh, say I'll call you in the morning, okay? All right. Make it after lunch. Thank okay. you. Mm-hmm.
It's getting late. What is it? What's wrong? Just a crap. It's gone. Um, David, I'm sorry for being a bitch so much of the time. You're not a bitch. I think the real problem is... <sighs> My drinking, I know. It's getting the upper hand on me. Maybe I should see someone about it. You mean it. I can't risk losing you. Mm. Oh! David, oh. what is it? Another cramp. Oh, I'm calling you a doctor. No. I'm all right. Really, it's past. Oh. But, but I got this strange taste in my mouth. Maybe it was the anchovies that I put in the salad. Maybe. The salad did taste a little salty. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Usually I love them. Why don't you just go on upstairs and get into bed? Soon. I gotta go over these papers one last time. I meet with the people from Calgore tomorrow. If all goes well, we'll clinch the shopping center deal over lunch. Knowing you, it'll go terrific. Hmm. Give me 20 minutes and I'll be up. <sighs> You got a deal. I'll go take my bath. Captain Jack. Hello, Captain. You want some? No, I don't. Bobby, don't drink. Relax. I just want a little bit. I wonder what your old man would say if he knew about us. <laughs> oh, he'd probably have a cow. Yeah, pink spots. You sure you don't want one?
I just need to recharge my batteries. What are you doing? Nothing, goddammit. I just said I need a fucking rest. <laughs> Something bit me! <laughs> They think this stuff is candy. Why don't you try salt? Hey. No, really, that's a good idea. You're I'm crazy. serious. Oh, good. Come on. Hey, what's up? Sheriff inside? Yes, he's upstairs. Pictures of everything, understand? Sure, Sheriff. Don't sure, Sheriff, me unless you know you're sure. I'm sure that I'm sure, Sheriff. You better be, Dobbs. I'll shove my boots so far up your butt, you'll need a tow truck to get it out. Good morning, Sheriff. Who let you in here? Oh, it's nice to see you, too. Cut the smart remarks. You ain't allowed here. What do you want? Look, Sheriff, I know it sounds crazier than hell, but I got this theory. Now, maybe, just maybe, we're dealing with a a mutant form of slug here, a, a kind that eats meat. Ha! <laughs> that don't sound crazy, Brady. That is crazy. Kill us slugs, for Christ's sakes. What'll it be next? Demented crickets? Rampaging mosquitoes, maybe? All right, all right, all right. So you explain the, the slimy shit on the floor and the, and the dead bodies. I will, I will. Let's just let me do my job and get out of here. Yeah, do that. What are you staring at, goddammit? You got nothing better to do to stare at me? Hi, Julie. Any messages for me? Don Palmer over at Sanitation called twice. He says it's very important. Okay. Did a guy named John Foley call? No, sir. All right. Would you get uh, Palmer on the phone for me, please? Mm -hmm. Julie? Yeah. Hi. 
Would you get Palmer on the phone for me? Sure, right away. You don't have to bite my head off. I'll bite your head off. Yep, yeah, Mike Brady. Mike, I've got some stuff over here at the office that you're going to be interested in. What kind of things? Not over the phone. How soon can you get over here? Oh, Jesus, Don, we're not the CIA, you know. Half an hour? Nah, Don, look, I'm really... Mike, listen. My people have been down in the sewers, and they have found half-eaten rats and chickens and cats and even a large dog. Okay, Don, I'm on my way. Feeling any better? Yeah, a little. Maybe you should postpone your meeting. No can do. The clients are coming up here just for this meeting. We'll have to sign today. They're leaving after lunch. This is an entire sewer map of the Ashton area. Uh -huh. Now, this gigantic reservoir takes all the ways from this area down to Baker's Corner. Right here is where the sanitation department has its waste disposal plant. Yeah? Well, at first, my men were finding the bulk of the dead animal remains right here, but lately we've been finding them up here, too. Don, I still don't know what you're driving at. First it was Ron Bell, then it was Talbot and the Moss Girl. The Moss's house is right here. Yeah. Mike, there's something down there that's killing people. And there's more you gotta know. Yeah, like what? When I was researching these maps, I discovered that back in the 50s and 60s, that this entire area from the edge of Ron Bell's property line to the town limits was a toxic waste dump. Every plastic and chemical plant in the area dumped into it. Then about 20 years ago, they filled it in. You know, Don Palmer, you're a fountain of good news. I'll take mine rare. Very good, man. Here you are. Thank you, sir. Would you like an hors d'oeuvre? Thank you. No, thank you. I'm not Whiskey? very hungry today. That's mine. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Anything wrong, Dave? No, no, I'm fine. I just have a blasted headache that won't go away. <sighs> Maybe we should postpone until you're feeling better. Not a chance. You're not getting out of town until after we've all signed on the dotted line. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Dave. I'll be back in a minute. better? Yeah. The aspirins are finally working. <laughs> Good. Excuse Good. me. Drink up, then. Mm. Shall we tell him now or wait until the check comes? Might as well tell him now. Who knows, you, sir? Yeah. It just might clear up his headache once and for all. And yours. We decided to go full steam ahead with the project. Mm-hmm. That's terrific. Great. You know you'll never regret it. I'd like to propose a toast. Uh, to the beginning of all the great things yet to come. Cheers. Oh, my God! This is where they filled it in. And it's the exact center of where they planned to put that shopping center. Oh, my God. And do you see what it is in relationship to Ron Bell's house? Yes, yeah, so? There's a possibility 
that the bulldozer, when it was grading for the shopping center, broke through the landfill. I mean, who knows what kind of poisonous gases escaped? Jesus, Don, you could be right. Yeah, sanitation department. Um, yes, excuse me, just a minute, please. It's for you at your office. Yes, Julie, it's Mike. Your wife called. Oh, and Sheriff Reese called. He said to get over to Trombino's right away. Mr. Brady, now the sheriff's waiting for you inside. Uh, I'll check with the guys in white. You crazy? We got no worms here. We got worms here. Worms? Ma che cazzo sta a dire questo? His mom has more worms che io c'ho nella mia cucina. What's he saying? He says we got no worms here. He wants worms. Say that minchione of sheriff che la vada a fanculo, altrimenti I give him un bel minchione right up in his culo. Relax, Nostra. Look, the worms that killed that boy out there didn't just roll a skate in here and jump on his plate. Ma io rispacco la faccia, cosa? Ma che cazzo sta a dire? Sheriff o non sheriff? It's about time I'm doing your job for you here. This is a matter for the health department. We found these on the plate. My guess is they came from the food. They got the no worms in my food. I got no worms here. Sure, sure. Well, well what? Who died? I thought you knew a friend of yours, Dave Watson. What? Well, do I close this place or what? Well, I don't know that yet. Well, just tell me if they came from the food. How should I know? Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Why don't you just give me five minutes? And I'll figure it out. Terrific. That's wonderful. Mike, Mike, what'd you find in there? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of food poisoning or something. Food poisoning? Mike, I was in there. I saw that guy. His face was eaten away. His eyes were popping out. Now, I'm not an expert. But... That's right. You're not an expert. We'll take it over to Foley and see what he has to say about it. That's funny. That's a performance center. Good God. Where'd you get these? Come on, John, you want to tell me what's going on? The schistosomes are blood flukes. A particularly virulent strain of parasite found in the blood streams of... of slugs. Now, tell me where you got them. Well, they came from... Dave Watson's head. Oh, God. There's no end to this thing. What do you mean? First, they are carnivorous, no doubt about that. Their slime produces an irritant that, if given in large enough doses, kills after paralyzing. Now this parasite, natural to them, can be transmitted and are lethal to humans on top of that, slugs are hermaphrodites. Hermaphro what? Hermaphroditic. Which means they can fertilize their own eggs. Speaking of which, where do they breed? Well, anywhere it is dark and moist. They're primarily night creatures. How about a sewer? Well, well as a breeding ground. Yes, it would be perfect. trying to find you. Why? What's wrong? Call Mrs. Brady. She's called three times in the last ten minutes. She sounds scared to death. Hello? Oh, Michael. I've been trying to reach you. Where have you been? What's wrong? Please come home. Hurry.
Michael, who are you calling? Sheriff Reese. You damn well better talk to me now. Dobbs, it's Mike Brady. Put Sheriff Reese on the phone. He ain't here. He's out at Ashton Farms. We got us another dead body over there. You what? Yeah, amazing, ain't it? Before yesterday, the most exciting thing we had around here was a Saturday night drunk getting naked and running down Main Street. Now we got a new dead body showing up every 10 minutes. Look, now listen to me, Dobbs. You tell that fat bastard to get his ass over to Frank Phillips' office immediately. You got that? Look, I have to go now. I'll be back as soon as I can. Oh, Michael, I think I'm losing my mind. Just hang in there. You'll be fine. How? How am I gonna do that? Tell Mr. Phillips that Mike Brady is here to see him. Hey, his office is closed. Yeah, watch. You it. can't go in there. What the hell are you doing here? Phillips, we have an emergency on our hands. Should I call the police, Mr. Phillips? That won't be necessary, Miss Wiley. Thank you. What is this, Brady? I want you to cut off the water in the south end section of town immediately. Is this your idea of a joke, huh? No, it's not my idea of a joke. Now, the water in that section of town has been contaminated by a mutated form of slug. If we don't shut the system down, and I mean now, we risk contaminating the entire city. Hold on. Mutated slugs? Contaminated water system? What the hell are you talking about? Uh, Phillips, listen to me. We're facing a disaster here. You need a long vacation, pal. This is, this is no time to argue. Who's arguing? I'm telling you, you're nuts. We'll declare a health emergency. I'll take full responsibility. You ain't got the authority to declare happy birthday. Not in this town. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. What's it gonna take? For starters, a request from the mayor. Then my concurrence. Now get your ass out of here. Slugs. Crazy asshole. Everything okay? Yeah. Then can I go to lunch? Okay, go. <laughs> I assure you, everything Mr. Watson promised uh, Calgore Incorporated will remain. That's the way Mr. Watson did his business and the kind of man he was. He'll be greatly missed. God, you never saw anything like what happened in that restaurant. Oh, put it out of your mind, Sue. How? His whole face was... Uh, can I freshen your drinks? I sure hope things like that don't happen around here again. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Miss Channing, I assure you. Forget it. Sue, I think it's time we got going. Well, of course. I only thought you people were prepared to sign the papers. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We might as well do it. Yes? Sorry, Mr. Mayor, but Mike Brady of the health department is here. He says it's an emergency. Uh, Tell him it'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of an important conversation. Sorry, Mr. Mayor, but what I have to say can't wait. We have a potential disaster on our hands. Potential disaster? Uh, 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 excuse me. I won't be a minute. Who the hell do you think you are to burst in here like this? Look, you've got to call Frank Phillips. Tell him to shut down the water system. What? We have slugs in our water. We've got to contain them to the sewers or we don't stand a chance. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds crazy, but you're going to have to listen to me and you're going to have to trust me. What happened to Ron Bell, Donna Moss, and Dave Watson are all related. And it's only the beginning. <laughs> sure, Mr. Brady, sure. A anything you say. Look, goddammit, don't patronize me. I'm not insane. Insane? I never said that you were. Look, put down the phone. 
gonna start listening to me? Sorry to interrupt, but we have a plane to catch. Are you from Calgor? Yes, I am. Get Sheriff Reese. I want him here now. My name is Mike Brady, and I am the county health inspector. And like I was trying to tell the mayor, we have a very serious situation on our hands here. Situation? What kind of situation? This entire area used to be a toxic waste dump. And not only that, we have a mutant form of killer slug in our water system. A toxic waste dump? Yes. That's bullshit. This man's nuts. God knows what his game is. My game is like you would call it is to save lives. You mean to tell me if I turn on the water tap, a killer slug is going to come out and get me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's just see. We have nothing to hide in this town. Shall we finish signing the papers? Absolutely. Well, you know what they say, there's no time like the present. Sure, let's get it done with. Okay. You're not actually going to sign this thing, are you? <laughs> now then, Mr. Brady, if you don't mind, let us get on with our business. You people are unbelievable. Mr. Phillips, I'm back. Mr. Phillips? Are you okay there? Mr. Phillips? this. Well, what do you think? It's fantastic, Foley. What is that stuff? It's a lithium-based arsenic. Lithium is highly combustible when it comes into contact with moisture. Yeah, but can you make enough of that to kill thousands of slugs? Well, making the stuff's no problem. But to get all of them in one place at the same time, that's quite something else. Well, I'm convinced that their main nest is in the sewers near Ron Bell's old house. Now, the problem is, can we use this without blowing up the whole town? Well, I hope so. <laughs> you know something? I think it's worth a try. What do you say we meet at the sanitation department in, uh, three hours? It's going to take me some time. John, just be there. All right, I'll be there. and I'll tell you. Uh, listen, guys, we're going to have to hang it up. That's all right. We got to go anyway. Go where? To a Halloween party. What Halloween party? Some of the guys are getting together. Yeah, well, listen, just make sure so you're back. Be home bang, early. Yeah. Uh, not great news. Same to you. Want some coffee? Uh, no, no, no thanks. We're gonna be in the den. So, what's up? Uh, Don, I, um, 
I need your help. Sure. I'm going down to the sewers after the slugs. Oh. Yeah, I spoke to this guy, Fole, and he found some stuff that'll kill them. What kind of stuff? It's a chemical that'll uh, make them explode. Explode? Yeah. It reacts to the moisture in their bodies. Let me get this straight. You want to take something that explodes when it comes in contact with water down into the sewer? Mm hmm. You're crazy. Don, we have no alternative. I've been to the mayor and I've been to the sheriff, and nobody wants to listen. Now, these things are coming out of the water taps in my neighborhood. Right. You imagine if they spread to the entire system? Well, let's get started, partner. You don't want any more time to think about this. I don't need to think about it. I've got a wife and two kids, too. And I don't want what happened to Watson to happen to any one of them. Good. God's honest truth, Brady and I are going to go kill some man-eating slugs. Oh. I trust this so-called um, killer slug, so yours aren't 18 years old and speak French. <laughs> oh, no. But I tell you what, when I do get back, how about if we get naked and get crazy? Mm. I'll be here. Where were you? I was at Maureen's. Oh, Michael, she's in terrible shape. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to scare you. Now, look, what I want you to do is go to your mother's and wait for me there. I'll be there soon. I want you to go now. Kim, this thing's turned into a total disaster. Do as I say. Go to your mother's. I don't want to be anywhere without you. Can't you understand that? Yes, I understand. Ah! You see? They're all over the place. Come on, let's go. Okay, everything's going to be okay. Goat killer. I'd like to get my hands on him. What are you gonna do if you get a hold of him? Bore him to death? 
Okay, smartass, then you tell me what happened to Bobby and Don. Keep quiet. I'm leaving. Don't worry, he's just upset about Bobby. you mean by ready? Well, we should have enough to do it. I hope so, because we're only getting one shot at this. Is this uh, my little suit? You know, Mike, they're miles of sewers down there. Those things could be anywhere. Right. That's why we're going to get them all in one place. Well, how are you going to do that? You going to invite them over for a hamburger? Something like that. We're uh, going to give them a little bait. I hope you don't mean what I think you mean. No, I got something better than that. I didn't want to come to this party. Come on, it's a Halloween party. How can you not be having fun? I feel really awkward here. I'm hardly you, dressed you for this. You look fine. Party. Just have a couple of beers. Have some pizza. I don't want any pizza. Try some. I don't like want it. Bug off. Any. Could we go? Yeah. Punk. You, but liking you and letting you get into my panties is a different kind of thing. I wish you wouldn't put it that way. How would you like me to put it? That we have something special. You do like me, don't you? Well, not that much. All you want to do is play mind games. Well, count me out. Fine. Okay, guys, this is it. Now we can go underground right here. And uh, from everything I can put together, I have to guess that their main body is right here. Now there's a manhole cover right above this chamber. Okay, John, you position yourself by the manhole and get ready to drop your stuff. Any strays we see, we push into that chamber. And when we're ready to get out, we'll signal you. Mm-hmm, right. We're all set. Just one more thing. What's that? Once we're in the chamber, you give us two minutes to get out. If you don't get out, you drop the stuff. Understand?
this one. I told her to get lost. You what? Yeah, she's a real bitch. You're an asshole. Right down the steerage. Where are you going? None of your goddamn business. Close the entrance without marking it on the map. What do we do now? There's another way in from section G13, but it's a long way around. No other way? There's no other way. Well, let's go then. Take a right just up ahead. Yeah, well, just watch yourself. Oh my god. What is it? <sighs> Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Come on, let's go. Let's get out of here. No, no, I got an, I got an idea. Here, hold this. Oh shit. You're not gonna light that blowtorch. You're crazy. These sewage gases could be explosive. Don't worry. This section is plenty of ventilation. I'm gonna electrocute the bastards. isn't even supposed to be here. It isn't even on the map. Best I can figure, we're about underneath that, that old factory. What are we gonna do? There's nothing else we can do. We just have to go on. Let me call Foley and let him know we're on our way. Foley, this is Brady, come in. Yeah, Mike, I'm here. I'm near the rendezvous, everything okay? Look, we're just about at the entrance of the old factory. What? What I want you to do is meet us at the sewer entrance the old factory in just in a few minutes. That will be there as soon as we can. Right. I'm on my way. Over. We out of here? Yep. Let's go. There's a million of them down here. 
Well, take out the torch and use it now. Can't. There's enough methane down here to blow us all the way to Kentucky. Well, is there another way to go? Not that I know about. Oh, man. It's getting real tight down there. How much farther? That's far. What is it? What's wrong, Palmer? They're right up ahead. We can't go this Come way. Come on now, Palmer. Move it. Maybe you didn't hear what I, I said. I hear you. No, I said move. Come on, Palmer. Go. Get out of here. Mike, do you read me? I'm at the old factory now. I'll open the manhole. Over and out. God, this has got to be it. We're right underneath that old factory. Foley. Foley, come in. This is Mike. We found their main breeding ground. Now get all that stuff ready. We're going to try to find ourselves a way out of here. Mike, come on. I found a way. Come on. Will you drop that stuff? Come on. This is it. Yeah. But how are we going to get over there? The sack. You're right. The sack. I'll go get the meat. I'll be right back. I sort of distract him for a minute. Toss the whole thing in. Oh. Now what are we gonna do? We gotta go back that way. We can't go back, look. Here, take this, I got an idea. and call Foley. Tell him to pour that stuff down the manhole. We'll get out this way. Foley! Foley, it's ready to come in.
Sorry about your friend, Bert. You? You can go to hell. Mike, he knew the chances. I could have kept him out of this. No, I don't think you could. He knew that. We could never have done it without him, Mike. That's a small comfort now. <laughs> <laughs> 